Visualize and think about yourself as you would really like to be, not just as you are today. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and today I want to talk to you about a trait that all rich people have in common and how you can learn it as well. The whole secret of personal success is to find out what your calling is and then do it with your whole heart. Why is it that some people have positive thinking patterns while others do not? What determines your self-concept for success? Many successful people have been interviewed over the years and asked the question, what do you think about most of the time? Their answers are simple and consistent and yet so profound that they can be life-changing, as they were for me. In short, rich people always think positively. They think about what they want and how to get it. By learning these four habits of rich people, you too can become very successful and perhaps faster than you could imagine. The richest people have what is called a very high self-concept. Your self-concept is the master program of your subconscious computer. It acts as your mental operating system. Every thought, feeling, emotion, experience, and decision you have ever had is permanently recorded on this mental hard drive. Once recorded, these impressions influence the way you think and feel and behave from that point onward, starting in early childhood, even when you were an infant. Your self-concept precedes and predicts your levels of effectiveness in every area of your life. Your self-concept comes first. Your self-concept explains why the mental laws have such an inordinate effect on your personality. If you want to be rich, you must change your self-concept so that you think about yourself as a rich person. Once your self-concept in a particular area is formed, you always act in a manner consistent with it. You may have extraordinary ability in a particular area, but if your self-concept is poor in that area, you will always perform below your true potential. You have a self-concept for how well you speak in public. You have a self-concept for how popular you are. You have a self-concept for what kind of a spouse or partner you are. You have a self-concept for what kind of a parent you are. You have a self-concept for how well you perform in each sport or physical activity. You have a self-concept for how organized or disorganized you are. You have a self-concept or belief system for how well you manage your time and how productive you are. You have a self-concept for your ability to read and write and do mathematics. Now, in your career, you have a self-concept for every aspect of your financial life. Through positive thinking, you have a self-concept for how much you earn and how hard you have to work to earn that amount of money. You have a self-concept for how rapidly you are promoted and how much your earnings increase year by year. Now, rich people step outside their comfort zone. Whatever your self-concept, your habit of thinking with regard to money or any other area of performance will become your comfort zone. Your comfort zone then becomes your greatest single obstacle to improve performance. Once you get into a comfort zone in any area, you will strive and struggle unconsciously to remain in that comfort zone, even though it may be vastly below what you are truly capable of achieving in that area, and especially what you are truly capable of earning. The key to achieving your full potential and to develop the same habits of rich people is for you to raise your self-concept through positive thinking patterns. It's for you to develop new patterns and habits of positive thinking about what is possible for you. The way that you accomplish vastly more on the outside is by changing your thoughts and feelings about your potential in that area on the inside. Rich people have a high self-ideal. This is the ideal image or picture you have of yourself as, as if you were already the very best person you could possibly be. Your self-ideal and self-concept is made up of your wishes and your hopes and your dreams and your goals and your fantasies about your perfect future life 
combined with the qualities and virtues that you admire most in yourself and other people. Your self-ideal and self-concept is a composite through positive thinking of the very best person you could imagine yourself being, living the very best life you could possibly live. Now, high-performing, successful, happy, rich people have very clear self-ideals. They have clear ideas of what they like and respect and admire. They have clear ideals about the virtues and values and attributes of the superior men and women that they want to emulate and become. The most successful people have an uplifting, inspiring vision of what a truly excellent person looks like and how he or she behaves within that self-concept. Now you are a remarkable person, possessed of incredible untapped potentials and abilities. Whatever you have accomplished in life so far is only a shadow of what is truly possible for you. There are virtually no limits on what you can do or be or have except for the limits that you impose on yourself with your own thinking. By taking complete control of the development of your self-concept through positive thinking, you lay the foundation for the development that will enable you to accomplish more in the next few years than the average person accomplishes in a lifetime. Now, if you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in discussing self-concept and positive habits, share it with your friends or anyone else who might benefit from this information. Before we wrap up, I'd like to leave you with a thought to share with your friends and followers. Here it is. Visualize and think about yourself as you would really like to be, not just as you are today. Now, I'd love to hear from you. So my question today is this. What is your self-concept like right now? What do you want to change about it? What new beliefs do you want to have about yourself and your potential? So leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in helping you to achieve your personal or professional goals or change your self-concept in a positive way, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends or anyone else who might benefit from this information.